Welcome to Mo Trainees on the Train. We are here at Kenneth Design. Ladies, thanks for having us tonight. We are very excited to be here at Kenneth Design. All I've got to say is I am probably one of the best artists you'll ever have here. <laughs> so that's for sure. We'll so Kate, talking about, we were talking earlier about in Kenneth, you know, people get in touch with their artistic side, especially when they drink. What have you seen over the years when people have gotten a little bit of wine into them and they start getting creative? What have you seen? <laughs> Tell me a fun story of what you've seen. Oh, a fun story. I see people coming in and they're like, so nervous. I can't paint. I've never painted. I haven't picked up a paintbrush since I was in first grade. And I say, you know, don't worry about it. Don't take yourself too seriously. Like, you're here to have fun. You know, keep that glass of wine close. You know, don't dip your paintbrush in it. I have somebody to do that, by the way. I'm sure I will. Um, so, I've had one lady come in, and she just had no idea what she was doing. And I think if you focus on really, you know, good instruction, you know, while having fun, I think people really, there's an element of surprise. People really impress themselves of right. what they can do. And they're like, wow, I can't even believe I did this. I haven't held a paintbrush in years. And they come out with a masterpiece. So your mom obviously started the business. How did you get your girls involved? I mean... So, um, I'm actually the least creative in my family, <laughs> not Lauren. I'm a business background, uh. and um, this is my midlife crisis business. Um, pretty much when I... Uh, Turned 50, got divorced, was looking for um, a new venue. I started to read um, entrepreneurial magazines. And I read an article that was called Paint and Wine, a Winning Combination. Mm -hmm. And I have all these artistic kids. And um, so they helped me get started. We came to Kennett and they um, were able to find us this space. And then I have a bunch of other artists that um, work with us that I also feel very motherly toward, um, that we've become you know, a big family. And it's really extended the business. Outside of Canada, we do a lot of painting in uh, Delaware and Maryland, too. All right. Now, if you had a mission statement for your business, what would you say it would be? Our mission statement is for people to have fun while creating something, really. Um, it's not necessarily about a formal art instruction. Um, we don't claim to be you know, an art class. It's art for fun, and we want people to create something, leave proud of what they've done, and have fun in the process. Do it with a friend, have a glass of wine, and you know, look at it the next day and be like, oh, I can't believe I created that. That splash of wine may turn into a full bottle for me, but I truly believe that the best way to bring out your innovative self is to have a glass of wine and then have another. The Mo Train, if he's painting, there is no doubt that I will be enjoying a good bit of wine, at least a bottle. And I definitely encourage the entire class to drink and keep up with me as we paint. So as I say, wine always fuels imagination or it tastes good too. So anyway, cheers to everybody. Let's have a great night. Let's cheers. make some great art. Cheers, cheers to Ken Design and Ken Square. It's my <laughs>